Today, we're gonna to talk about processing Tweedia. Tweedia is one of those flowers that comes now, it only used to come in blue, that really wonderful powder blue. And then you started seeing it in the beautiful white. And now you can even find it in pinks and kind of a lavendery pink. But it's so many really pretty colors. But sometimes people have problems with it because they don't process it correctly or they're a little scared of it for a few reasons. So I've just got a little vase here with some water in it. And I wanted to show you, so let's see here, one of these stems, here we go. So this is a stem that I have cut all the foliage off. And so what you see is only blooms. And so I've edited the foliage off, which is okay. I mean, it's, I think it actually kind of looks even cooler without the foliage, but I wanted to show you how you can do that. So here is a regular stem of Tweedia. Now, a lot of times when it comes in, it might be a little soft or it can be, um, it just needs a good drink. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll literally just chop the ends off with something really sharp. Now, the one thing with Tweedy that scares people sometimes is the fact that it has this white latex sap. You can see it's starting to ooze there. And when I process Tweedy, I like to put it in water by itself or with other flowers that produce this white sap. So that way, that sap as it gets released into the water doesn't interfere with anything else. It's not like a huge thing, but it's just something I do as a little trick. So I'll put it in the water and I let it drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these and let them drink. Of course, they were drinking just a minute ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in water and let them drink for just, just a minute. Okay, now that I've had a good drink, I wanna come in here and with Tweedy, like a lot of blooms that are vertical, sometimes the very top flower and the very bottom flower bloom at different times. So the top flower is some of the last buds to open, but that's when they usually like to harvest it because that's when it's showier because that bloom is at the top, which means it's not uncommon for some of these lower blooms to not look so hot. So we're just gonna start off by cutting those right off the bat. And we're gonna go ahead and cut some of this lower foliage off because we don't need that. Now, the thing I love about the foliage on this, if you wanna work with the foliage, is it has this real velvety, uh, sage sort of colored green to it, which is a really pretty contrast to the white blooms. So some of my stems I'm gonna leave just like that. Now you'll see on there, you'll see some latex that's starting to come out. Um, I call it latex, but it's you know just a white sap. And so that's okay. It'll eventually stop. And you could take a paper towel like this and just kind of dab at it to get off any excess if it seems to be excessively runny. But see, just that and it's done. So we'll put that in the vase here. We're gonna take some of these out. And we'll lay these down here. So again, you see here some blooms that just need to come off because they just don't look as pristine as the flowers on top. Oh, there's one that's stuck in that's way up there. But now, just like that, perfect, ready to go. Whoops, let me pull that out. Perfect, ready to go. Beautiful book for bouquet work or anything else. Now, one thing I want to mention too is anything with this white milky sap sometimes people have reactions to it in their skin. So if you think you could be sensitive to it, you might want to um, wear gloves, like you know, latex gloves, or just make sure you wash your hands. You don't want to touch your face because sometimes people can react to that as well. I'm just pruning off any flowers or foliage that didn't quite make it through the trip. And see, it's just clean, as clean as can be. I love the curves, love the balance that it has, great for centerpieces and things. So then I wanna show you how to do this. And the reason why I like taking all the foliage off sometimes is because it kind of reminds me of a blooming branch. When you mix it in a bouquet or something, it just sort of has that feel of 
like an apple blossom, for example. So all I'm gonna do is you could pull leaves off, but a lot of times that causes more of the stem to be exposed. So it doesn't take very much time. And once you've done it just a little bit, you can just start cutting the foliage away. And so that's all I'm literally doing. Let me see if I can get closer here for you. I'm just going in here and cutting each individual leaf away. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And this can be tedious, but I can tell you now that if you're doing a white bouquet uh, and this greenery kind of bothers you, I will tell you that it makes a huge difference. There's a couple more little tiny leaves up here. And voila. There we have this nice clean stem with no foliage and these beautiful white flowers. Now, again, if you're using blue Tweedia, this is another cool trick because by moving the foliage, you really get that purity of that blue in certain bouquets. And so I'm gonna process the rest of this. So as you can see, it's fairly quick and easy. And don't forget that if you process it and then you feel like, oh, you still need to cut more off. Um, I know I've gotten some of the sap on my hands, so it is sticky and it will wash off, but it's sometimes it's a little frustrating that way. But I will say that you can go ahead. This is hydrated now. If you needed it to be shorter, you can just cut it shorter. You can let it just bleed for just a little second. The sap is coming off just a little bit, so you can see. And then it's not too bad because we've already cut it once and it's already kind of done some of that. I just tap it on a paper towel, boom, ready to go. I don't worry about mixing it with blooms after that point. So I hope you enjoyed this. Enjoy Tweedia. It's almost available year round from different parts of the world, but this time of year, it is available out of California. Enjoy.